Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ranwin Parked Show Podcast Thingamajig. This is episode number 56, I'm pretty sure. I am your host, Mr. Code Dodger. 56 to you. I knew it. I, I thought I was going to, I was like, should I pause? I know he's going to want to make this joke. <laughs> this is episode 50. No, you're not. No, you're done. You're done. <laughs> done, <laughs> sir. Later. Episode 56. I am your host, Code Dodger, joined by Kurt J. Mack. <laughs> no longer ZK. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a show where we do things related to cars that we don't buy, usually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually. I, uh, thankfully, have nothing to bring you this week. I have literally no car tales, no cartels or shopping experiences or rants or raves nothing mm. i'm completely uninteresting again <laughs> back, <laughs> again thank goodness <laughs> back to normal uh i think kurt probably has the most interesting thing going on and that is he has finally embraced his true street tuner instincts Good rat. <laughs> yes that's it. Uh, guess what? A 280Z is very loud without a muffler. <laughs> it's very loud. And it's it's got that perfect, like... It's it's that funny how good. something... Okay, ZK, easy now. Something <laughs> that's loud because the exhaust is broken has a different sound than something that's loud because it has an exhaust system. Like, it just right. sounded broken to me. <laughs> 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 I don't think I mean, I imagine... Good. It, it seemed like the exact same reaction uh, that uh, Powers had when he fired up his, his side exhausts on his feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> this, is, this is too much. <laughs> this is, I cannot undo this right now. <laughs> uh, I didn't really get the whole story of what was going on there. Like, how did the muffler leave? I, I got ahead of myself there were holes like before the muffler in the pipe and also like in the muffler itself um and i was just bored <laughs> <laughs> and i figured you know what i i could just take off the muffler mm. it's got a pre-muffler it's fine mm. uh, the corolla lost the muffler for a while it wasn't that loud um so i did that and i just replaced the muffler with uh, some Napa straight pipe, uh, straight pipe tube, which isn't exactly straight because there's an S bend and mm. you know the universal uh, ID OD stuff. I guess didn't exist in 1978, so things didn't quite line up and fit right. And there's still a leak, but uh, uh, but yeah, I figured I'd do that. I'm like, and then I'll worry about doing the whole exhaust thing, uh, but. No, no. <laughs> I, I mean it'll. I, I I haven't been able to drive it because it's been raining mm. uh, all week. Um, but I'd like to drive it a few times, and then I'm sure I'm going to need to find a solution or just bring it to a shop who can weld up no, a quick. Leave it. Or... It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> ZK, you're the one that was constantly telling me I had to make my 240 quieter. <laughs> this sounds good to me. Like I, I'll preface this with like I can't actually tell how loud it is. Uh, um, but I like the way it sounds. Huh. I thought it just sounded kind of ratty. <laughs> like I know it's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the garbage truck of Z's. <laughs> I don't think that's a There's compliment. A <laughs> I don't think that's a compliment at all. <laughs> uh, ZK, I don't think you have any car news, do you? Mm -mm. I do have one question for you. Mm -hmm. Got a comment very very late on an episode i think we were talking about getting the the civic why not used why didn't you just get a used one instead of hunting for this new one uh like the like uh okay so specifically we wanted a new ish car we weren't opposed to a used civic however they made changes in the 2020 model mm -hmm. so we were looking at 2020s and 21s that's what I thought. That's what I replied with, like, because the one you wanted didn't exist as a used car yet. Like, they were still new. <laughs> so some of them did. 
for not any discount. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, um, that becomes a bummer. Like buying buying used and not saving money doesn't feel yeah. good. It was like a lot of the ones were like 40,000 miles, 30, 40,000 miles for two or three or four grand off, if mm -hmm. that. Versus, Plus, you know, you get different interest rates on right. a used car. So it just wasn't worth looking for a used one. Versus that, and I couldn't like, find one either. The worst time in decades to be buying right. a used car, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we'll get we'll get to that later. <laughs> but also, oh. the uh, the Hyundai oh. dropped, I think, seven grand in thirty thousand miles in two years. So, Honda mm -hmm. in general have this weird "don't drop in value" thing going on. Right. Yeah, thank you for that answer for the person that asked. Random Park, you're welcome, person. It's a category where we find vehicles that are for sale listed as Randman parked or are claiming to be something that had relevance of running at some point in its lifetime. And this probably had no relevance in any matter in any time other than, of course, being afforded making the grass grow really well. <laughs> it is a 1976 Ford Mustang, question mark, because it's a Mustang 2 Coupe. Which, I don't know anything about Mustang 2s, personally, other than the front ends get un put under everything. <laughs> it's the only thing I know about them. The only thing I know about Mustang 2s is that everyone hates them for some reason. Yeah. But I don't know specifically what those reasons are. Kind of the same. Obviously, someone really hated this one, because this Mustang 2 has been put on a Bronco f 2 frame. So, it's a 2 plus 2. Oh. I thought it was, like, on a dolly. Like, you know, one of those I thought it was trailers. I thought it was Will just sitting next to it. <laughs> <laughs> There's just that much grass under it. Uh, car itself is in very good shape. The floor plans are good. <laughs> mm, floor plans <laughs> always. Walk-in closet. <laughs> the worst of the rust is in the trunk. Uh, you can see the fix. Rest car is solid. It's 302. Does not run, but it will roll over. It's one of a kind. Mm. Asking two grand. Yeah, if you turn it too hard in the dirt, it'd probably roll over. Probably would roll over. So yeah, this is a Mustang 2 Coupe, which, again, did not... I don't know enough about them well, to know. I don't think they had a Mustang 2 sedan. But I guess they had a hatch, maybe? Like a fastback? Yeah, yeah I was going to say fastback, maybe. Maybe. But boy, it's ugly. Eh, you know, this just... It, I don't think it's ugly. It just I get, screams like 70s to me. It does, but it's also one of those cases of if it wasn't a Mustang, it would probably be more acceptable. Like maybe, I don't know, some kind of yeah. other electronic car that's being produced these days. Um, yeah, it just generally looks like every boring 70s, 80s commuter car. Uh, but of course, this one is, you know got a hack through the tunnel to bring the transfer case yes. shifter up through <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah uh, there's your there's your rust in the spare tire well yeah it's fine there's your engine it's, it's body on the frame now you down, don't need that down in there somewhere and yeah there's so many of these things around where it's like uh undesirable car let's put it on a truck frame for some reason yeah, that does seem unusually common. Really? Because it isn't actually, like, it's, I feel like it's more work than you would think it is, but maybe not. I, I feel know, like it's, it's probably more work than you get out of it. Like, how is this better than either a Mustang 2 or a Bronco 2? Uh, neither are desirable? Right. Sometimes two wrongs still just make a wrong. <laughs> Uh, very strange. I mean, I all I can assume is boredom. Like, man, we got that old Bronco dude out there. We got that old Mustang too. We all make them one thing. I only yeah, assume that's a, what they sounded like. It's a Ford Four. <laughs> Why are you this way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hey, we haven't had good evidence of Fords creating excellent fertilizer in quite some time, and. Uh, this one's this one's doing its part. Almost looks like I'd buy it. Almost looks like hey, you you would buy it. 
<laughs> what would you even use it for? Pfizer. For Pfizer? <laughs> you got some crops coming in, ZK. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this is going to be legal soon, so I thought I'd get a head start. Look at this guy with his current references about drugs. Kirk! Uh, maybe you can find drugs in this 1989 Ford Econo line for $1,500. Maybe. It's a high top, non running, ran when parked. Both front windows are down and won't roll up. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> but. But no how problem. are you going to keep the drugs in? <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's how it's like a ice cream truck. Um, <laughs> but here we go. I've I have heard people refer to that as ice cream. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, real old reference there. <laughs> oh boy. Well, oh. Something. It's a Ford. It's got some grass. It's not just any, Kurt. It's a Bill Elliott Ford Signature Edition. I know. I'm glad you pointed that out. That's amazing. We... Is that Bill Elliott's signature? I don't no, think so. But it's... <laughs> it's the Bill Elliott Signature Edition of this van, which I'm sure he personally approved. Of course. Of course he did. I'm sure he was getting proper royalties for this Bill Elliott yes. Ford Signature Edition. <laughs> they really, they really want to point that out. It's even embroidered in the seats. <laughs> Isn't that great? No. <laughs> and is number nine, number nine on the seat right there? But Come it's just like now. a generic font, number nine. <laughs> Yeah, Time News and Roman and Ariel. Which one do you want? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, his number nine belonged to the McDonald's Corporation. <laughs> Wasn't that a sponsor? McDonald's? Not in this era. Not This is like oh, the okay. red, gold, <laughs> white would have been the... Ooh, this is before I was born, so you got to cut me some slack here. But I want to say it was like Miller or something like that. Uh, and it was a pretty generic nine, so that might have been close. But But I do notice the one on the car different from the one on the seat <laughs> so, <laughs> so one way or another it's wrong <laughs> i will say for the front windows being open to the elements it looks in decent shape i guess i would <laughs> buy this fan would you though yeah i would <laughs> i worry about you <laughs> <laughs> You should. Is this is this like <laughs> almost exactly the kind of van that uh, Paul has? Oh uh, yes, his was a one fifty. They don't specify what's uh, in this. So um, I think it says one fifty right there on the fender. Econ line one fifty. Yeah. Um. This does remind me of my childhood van, but that was a Dodge. But it was roughly. It wasn't a high top, but it was sort of the same layout of. It's got the double side door and I saw one of those dogs. Big windows in the back. What were they called? Were they called Ram Vans or Yeah. Or I... like B series, right. depending on the year. I saw one of those today, like still in like county you know, that's how the only experience I ever saw those vans is when they were like county work vehicles or things like that. Mm. And it just seeing those because you never see them anymore. Because, you know, they were A, Vans, B, Dodges, and C, Dodge Vans. The, <laughs> the, the, the actual use of those is gone. So when I see those, it's this weird, not good nostalgia trip of like, oh God, I'm in grade school again. <laughs> and I feel uncomfortable. I, we picked up a couple 240 motors with one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, if you go back to one of the interior pictures, you can see the wooden cup holder thing. That's what like reminded me of Paul's. Yeah, um, so ours had that when we bought it, and it promptly broke in many pieces. Aww. Well, but I gotta replace it's it for you. Like, all these conversion vans have all these like same mods that are built the worst. They're like the cheapest. I don't know. It's just bad. <laughs> I wonder how much they paid for like the Bill Elliott Ford signature. You think that was like a dealer thing? Like a dealer upsell? I don't know. If only we had some way to find out. 
The only thing I'm finding. Fine, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not finding anything. No. Oh. <laughs> so this could have just been somebody's weird obsession with Bill Elliott, for all we know. Possibly. So there is the... there is a signature edition for Thunderbird. That would make yeah. more sense because it was at least a Thunderbird. Like that was the yeah. car he drove. <laughs> Uh, the, the signature edition van not so much sense <laughs> <laughs> however can we just take a moment to think about the idea of like conversion van nascar <laughs> like on a timeline isn't that just dodgy bun where instead of they did like the truck series what if they did the van series well then maybe vans would make a comeback and we would all be better Think about how much space there would be for sponsors. <laughs> how did this not become a thing? The, the drafting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would draft so well. Wait, get NASCAR on the line. <laughs> Who has the number to nasty car? <laughs> <laughs> All right. ZK. Ooh. Another van. Oh. You clicked on the wrong one or it was in the wrong order. It's in the wrong order. Uh, there you go. Wait so, a minute. <laughs> a 19, yeah, you you spoiled it. Um, a 74 Chevy G20 van. So a C20, essentially. Um, body in good condition, brakes fair, runs good. Engine just developed a knock. Counter. You skipped yeah, a part of this that I'm Looks confused. like the van may have been Air Force. No. I also don't know what that means. Looks like the van may have Air Force. <laughs> oh. I misread that every single time I looked at this ad. Jedi thing. <laughs> Go on, does, it own, does it have its own Air Force? Like, is this, <laughs> is this van a nation? <laughs> <laughs> Should we be worried? <laughs> Are we under attack? <laughs> so, Ooh. new tires, body and condition, brakes fair, runs good, engine just developed a knock, which is, you know, not those two statements counteract mm -hmm. each other. Needs rod bearing. So I lowered the price to 2500 So I saw this ad and I was like, ooh, 2500 for like one of these vans? It's not that bad. Especially, it looks like, you know, nice set of wheels on it. Mm -hmm. And then... And then and then they pulled the fast one. Oh, this is the and actual. And that does not look like a new set of tires. No, it does not. Oh, so this is the actual ad. Yeah. yeah. Or this is the actual van in the ad. They didn't even bother saying first picture is what it could be. Right. Yeah. So. That's pretty I scheming. Don't, I don't. Yeah. Because. Uh, but like they look the same. Ah, uh, yeah, but but like yeah, this one's the, got yeah. like the fender flares and everything, so it's not the exactly. same. Like it looks like if you took the first one and did it up to this, but like oh, it's it the same happen. body. I think like it's not. It's got different mirrors on it, or I guess the the crummy version doesn't have mirrors at all. Uh, I think, so I think I the think first one selling... has the engine in the back. First of all, <laughs> it's based on nah, the open nah. headers there. Just long tubes. Very long mm, tubes. Very long tubes that make a sudden right-hand turn. I've seen worse. <laughs> huh. That's that's pretty low. Yeah, so it was one of those things. It's like, oh, okay. So it had... Because I was like, okay, so the motor's blown, but it's still a nice body. Okay, 2500 makes sense. Like, that's a good deal. And mm. then they show the rest of it. Right. And I'm like, oh. No one's oh. going to pay $2,500 for this. <laughs> No, the in like, I hope the in not. Interior is like a cargo van, but with windows, it says. <laughs> Throw your bean bags in the back and you're ready to go. Oh. After you address that oh, rod. The windows situation. are different. Yeah, this one's got windows and that one's a panel. Are you okay? Does it okay? have windows? No. Does it have windows <laughs> on the passenger side? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm on the yeah. I'm not okay. I don't think I'm okay, Come. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a lot of details. <laughs> you got you got duped. <laughs> well, thankfully, I didn't actually buy it, so it's fine. Thank God. I mean, even even if... I really like the idea of this being a six-cylinder with four zoomies out the side. That 
That would please me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Where did the other two go? <laughs> <laughs> okay. From the random parked cars to some possible cars that we have found that we would possibly buy if we were in the situation to, which I don't believe any of us are. For the love of God, please, I hope none of us are. But I really want to be, and I actually posted this one earlier this week uh, on a Discord, and then I came back to it like three more times, and I was like, you know what? I would actually really like this project. <laughs> this is actually something I find just unusual enough to be cool. It's a 64 Dodge 330 wagon with a 318 two-barrel and a push-button automatic, and it's in, like, original shape but needs some rust repair. And, and that, I do believe, is my ideal kind of project these days. I really like the mostly original, needs fixing up, needs some minor rust repair, and, and returned to the wild. And I don't know anything about this. Someone out there is going to be like, yeah, that's only $3,500 because nobody wants these. And I don't care what they say. It's got a... Enough about me. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's got an interesting butt that's that's very strangely wagon styled, I would say. It's almost it's almost the Volvo 1800 that line down the side. It yeah. does like yeah. Got that vibe. So what did it say? It said 318 two barrel push button automatic. Uh-huh. Uh the Ideal car has none of those things. What do you mean the ideal car has none of those things? <laughs> those are like the three worst things in any car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a Dodge wagon. I mean, you throw. I any, understand. Literally, I understand. any other Mopar engine in it, and it'll be this, great. I mean, this is a car for me. I'm confused that you like it. <laughs> Maybe I'm not okay. <laughs> Very much. I mean. Like it needs I'd floors. I love this car. That's why I'm concerned. But I am, I am shocked that the jack is sitting in the passenger side and not falling through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but to make ZK feel better. No. Oh, thank God. I need help because this is very close to me and I'm in danger. <laughs> it's an '82 Brat and it's a reasonable price ish and. It has plaid seats, it's got the T-tops, it's exactly the one I would want and need, and it's in restorable condition, and apparently nobody wants to buy it. It looks like it's actually been kind of well looked after, like the engine looks pretty well gone through. Hey, like, it, like the paint is rough, but like, literally all of the ones you've sent have like beat up bumpers, and this one's fine. Yeah, the bumpers are straight, the engine's not covered in 16 years of schmoo. And, like, the vacuum lines have been gone through. Like, it looks really good. See brand new nipples on the intake? Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> They're even, like... These are the kinds of things that I that I notice these days. Like, they're smart enough to know that you need to put a zip tie on those silicone nipples. <laughs> in order for them to seal, right? Um, so this seems like some somebody's... Legitimate project that maybe they just kind of lost interest in or, or, or they've had it forever. Who knows? Um, it's perfect. I need it. End of I'm statement. I'm down to 1715. You have a deal. <sighs> what does this Cyclops light mean? The center light. This one. Center light? Yeah. This is a light. The, uh, the badge. What? Yeah. Flips up. It's what? like a pop-up headlight in the center. But it's a pop round headlight. But why? It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru, ZK. Come on. Oh, keep up. <laughs> okay. I get it now. <laughs> we, we, we can't make any cars that are actually desirable, so we make them have just enough weird quirk that somebody wants them. I, yeah. I mean, I am worried about the body cladding on the sides being like a nightmare for rust, but don't care. I, rust don't scare me anymore, and that's not a good thing. Either one of these, uh, though, I would love them. The just um, 
molding or is that actually go all the way down to the rocker yeah i think it covers the rocker i think it's molding uh, like it was just some kind of cladding somebody added but you know that stuff just traps water fine you don't if it's rusty underneath it doesn't it doesn't matter the cladding looks fine you're a bad influence <laughs> <laughs> I told you 1750 2200 so where were you when I was in Seattle and this this group of rascals wouldn't let me buy a brat and drive it back to Florida <laughs> <laughs> we all know that you would have died <laughs> yes and the show would have never happened <laughs> I would have never been born <laughs> Kurt would have never gotten his Z if you would have bought that brat true all right, all right, all right. Either one, though. <laughs> Honestly, maybe even this one more. I'm sorry that I feel that way, but like this, I feel like I could easily do a catch and release. Like I, I feel like I would feel good what? about fixing it and releasing it back to the wild. Uh, what's wrong? Tires and alternator? Uh, I don't know. Mopar guys are real weird, so it's hard to say what would make this a release. To a more poor person. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> just, just, let's just move on. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to move all the way on. Kurt. <laughs> a mistake I'd make since I'm in the mood for Bill Elliott. $50 down from five. Get out oh. Of here. <laughs> But Bill Elliott, if you get his van, you got to get the diecast uh, Bill Wait, Elliott how did you, anniversary. How did you sneak this in here? I remember these. <laughs> I remember did, the... Did... Ah, what was that? There was like a whole TV network. Like, younger Like youth, the Home Shopping Channel yeah, stuff? Yeah, younger youths might not remember this. But NASCAR was freaking huge in the 90s. Like, it was everywhere. To the point, there was a literal, like home shopping network block that was dedicated only to NASCAR memorabilia every, you know, week or whatever. And it was, it was everywhere. And it had this kind of stuff like, look at this. It's a 24 karat gold plated die gas car. Very strange. <laughs> anyway, we had a NASCAR that... store in the mall. Yeah. Yep. Like a NASCAR, just NASCAR memorabilia and these things. Yeah. It's definitely one of those it's really shocking how badly they failed from the heights that they were at <laughs> they did they did a remarkable job of of flooding that one anyway 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 yes um no i have v12s on the mind for some reason and uh, this 2004 BMW 760 Li is only four thousand nine hundred dollars mm -hmm. for a new segment. I'd like to call now. That's what I call depreciation. <laughs> uh, yep. Looking looking it up, these were originally started at one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars in two thousand four. In two thousand four, correct, which is like eight million dollars in twenty twenty one. But uh, yeah, here we go. This is a, a 2004, uh, 142,000 miles. I mean, you divide that by the 12 cylinders. That's not that much. <laughs> um, so, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually know weirdly a lot about these cars because, yeah. in mm. my in my opinion, like, say you want to stuff a V12 in something, right? This is the V12 I would choose. Is this the crazy one that's actually two inline sixes and it has dual Venos on each bank? Yes. Cool. Um, not crazy in so much as like almost every V12 is sort of that way, but this was the V12 from BMW before they started adding turbos to them. And as you can see, it has 140 something thousand miles on it. So the engines themselves are reliable, but the rest of the car is a gigantic mess. Hold up. Like, electronics-wise. Are these the baldest tires we've ever seen on a car in the show? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. But they're also not stock wheels, which is a weird thing. They're yeah. MSWs? So they're, I think, the, is that the Discount Tire brand, or is that the Tire Rack brand of wheel? I think it's, I don't remember. But yeah, they are... Yeah, these cars are like they were the top of the line BMWs at the Rains. time. 
those are power roll up shade. There's a button that they just come up. I mean, they're nice cars. They were nice cars. They are nice. Yeah, cars? they have like all of the things, and I don't know. They this would be the V12 I would choose as far as on the plot of. Man. You remember how power much... versus reliability versus cr price. You remember how much just whinging Every, the entire automotive industry did about this thing right here? iDrive, was it? iDrive? Yeah. yeah. And now that's like, that is so simple compared to trying mm -hmm. to navigate through any touchscreen system in a modern car to get to climate control. If only, the, if only we knew how good we had it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of climate control. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. Vents on vents. Yeah. Extra so climate control. Weirdly, the U.S. got the 760 Li only. The L Our meaning refrigerator in the back. It is. Yes. <laughs> um, the L meaning long wheelbase. Other markets got the short wheelbase version. Hmm. But yeah. This is basically two inline sixes. So you have double um, electronic throttles double direct injection systems double everything yeah it's two engines running at once in in mm -hmm. quote unquote harmony i think hoovy's garage like hoovy bought one and when he brought it and is like okay ecu1 is fine ecu2 is throwing codes <laughs> and limp mode is basically just half the engine runs so it's reliability <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame the back of these is actually not that bad. Like BMW had a lot of misses. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the the notorious bingle bangle? It, it bingle is a bingle butt. butt. But this is like of the bingle butts, the seven was probably not the worst. I think it was probably the five that was Green. the worst. The yeah. front though is tragic. Yeah, I don't like the way they look, but like I said, I was only interested in the engine. I could care less about the rest of the car. I'm now worried about Kurt's new segment. <laughs> when is he going to like, when is there just going to be a picture of me on there? <laughs> uh, uh, well, first, you have to be valuable. Wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry. You just left it out there. Busy Kurt. I found a Rocky near me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think he just had a seizure. <laughs> Kurt, I think it was Kurt that had found Rocky near him, and I didn't know they existed. And one of them popped up around me, and I love the graphics on this thing. So that's why it's been a weird day, huh? Maybe. <laughs> um, so this one was also interesting because it was a Facebook ad, and it was like, if you have any questions, read the Craigslist ad. I'm but, like, oh. On eBay or Craigslist. And I was like, I've never seen that um, strategy before. And there was an associated Craigslist ad. Look at that. Much more information. Um, and you know it's always comforting when they're asking $1,100 for it and say, um, this is no scam. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So apparently they're, they rant about it for a little late, but they can't sell it from their driveway, that driveway because of HOA reasons or something. So they're like, okay, prepay me via PayPal or Venmo or whatever. I don't... And I'll bring it around the corner and give it to you. Mm-mm. 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 And it has a blown motor. But... You, I mean, you don't have to prepay with PayPal. You can go look at it and be like, yeah, okay, I'll PayPal you. Oh, but they can't have someone in the driveway looking at it. I don't know. It, if you disregard that skeeviness, it's still only eleven fifty. True. And sure, it has a blown engine, but like, I don't think that'd be very expensive in these things. And other than that, it looks in pretty good shape. Like, sure, the door's bent up a little bit, but like, the, I the mean, window is mostly silicone. I think that's actually plexiglass window that. Oh yeah. It's also missing the surround. Yeah. Um, that you see in one of the later pictures. But like, as far as these types of vehicles go. It was dirt cheap, and the engines are not complicated, so I imagine oh, it would not be expensive to throw a new one in. And you get some sick new sunnies. 
Yeah, but only on one ear. Yeah. What if you, what if you only have one ear? And some some <laughs> some some Copenhagen chewing tobacco. I'm trying to figure out what the yellow things are. Cup holders. Cup holders. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah. Clamp to something. But I love the graphics on it. Yeah, the graphics are pretty good. That's. Are these the ones with T-tops? Like, is that a T-top thing up there or a target top? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Hmm. I, I believe it's got T-tops and then that rear section also comes off. This thing's pretty beat up. But it is $1,100. Yeah. I'd do it. I know, right? Like, sure, it has a supposedly blown head gasket, but, like, either you could head get gasket? the engine rebuilt or... <laughs> or like I, I I don't imagine these engines are complicated or expensive. Right. But what? finding I parts. I guess it is EFI. Yeah, it's EFI. But finding parts might be a bit of a yeah, task. Because they only sold them over here for a couple of years. I started to look into it, and then I decided to uh, not go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. I yeah. I think it would be neat just to say that you had a uh, like actual legit. Sold here in Daihatsu. That's that. Just that alone is a thing. Mm -hmm. But um, be that'd be a hell of a project. Maybe yeah. Listen here, Mister. Seventeen started projects and none of them finished. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> eh, maybe over there. <laughs> I know a project when I see one. There's a reason I didn't buy it. Okay. <laughs> oh, righty. Well, now that our mistakes are in the past, shall we look at some auction ads for the episode? I cheated, as always, and just have it brought up here. So, Rabwood, still still clicking along, still trying, I guess. Like, if you look at just the regular things, they again have, like, three things for sale. Actually, they have six things for sale right now. But one of them is a Dodge Caravan. So you can't awesome. kind of be like, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> One of them's a 944. <laughs> Two-door RAV4. Yeah, I guess they're they're doing okay. But if you look at the past auctions... 1800 bucks. Do you think you think I'd get that for cheaper than what it would be to fix the Rocky? <laughs> Probably. Um, this didn't sell. This didn't sell. The Civic sold. EF hatch for 3600 Uh Didn't sell. Didn't sell. Didn't sell. So, eh. But anyway... I bring up this one because I have two points about it. A, if you're building a vehicle and you're modifying a vehicle and you think you want to leave it carbon fiber panels because you want everybody to see that it's carbon fiber, that literally only works if every panel is carbon fiber. Prove me wrong. Uh, I don't like unpainted carbon fiber. I don't like it at all. No. Or like maybe like if it's the roof or something. Like yeah. either you have like one feature you're showing off or you paint it. But this just looks like I bring this up because this person or or company, I don't know. But this car got posted literally everywhere. Every every available Instagram. There was every subreddit that I was part of. They tried to post it on. They like put this car out there everywhere as if it was literally the cream of the crop of MR2s. And they went on and on about the carbon fiber body. And I'm just like. I really think this would sell for more money if it was painted. <laughs> because but you say carbon fiber body, but is it just the doors and the fenders? It's the doors, the fenders, the hood, the headlight covers, and the hatch cover, or like the engine so cover. Nothing that weighs anything. Exactly. Like it's probably seven pounds lighter than the <laughs> regular version. Yeah. Uh, but the car has been featured in a ton of magazine posts. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That is this like uh what is it? Uh oh, the import Sport tuner magazine or compact import. car. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. I mean it's 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 been in a bunch of magazines, but wait, wait, wait. go back go back a couple slides. Right there. Oh yeah, I read this Today's earlier. Today's market value. Oh. oh I don't even know when this was written, but I bought my ninety two NA for twenty twenty four hundred and sold it. For twenty seven hundred in two thousand and ten, two thousand nine, somewhere in that era. And so uh on the right, the newest thing I see is two thousand two, so maybe this is circa then. Okay, so that's weird that the prices were higher, but I guess they were newer. 
then. Like, by the time I got it, it was yeah. just a used car. But that's now, modern prices are, like, double that. Oh, God, these things are going absolutely insane. Like, I've just, basically, I've gone from, this is one of those cars where I was like, I've got to own another one of those sometime, because I love the car. But now it's just like, Fiero. now I'm like, <laughs> I guess that's dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one got bid up to eighteen five, and apparently that wasn't enough. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's got you know the smorgasbord of all the things that are that are done to it. Sport car, compact car, sport compact car, sport compact car. Two thousand two to two thousand five. SEMA, I guess. SEMA. Oh wait, SE two thousand two best handling MR two. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. 2006, so yeah. It seems like a very retired show car or something like that. Yeah, I was going to say, it has. It looks like it hasn't been relevant in 15 years. <laughs> right. I think the other worst thing about these carbon fiber kind of cars is that none of the panel gaps ever work. Yeah. Like, look at the door lines here. Like, they're all AV and... <sighs> I've looked into this type of stuff and I'm like... <sighs> Hatch it's... cover's all messed up. They're never, like, straight either. Because mm -mm. the only way they can do this is they they take an existing panel and make a reverse mold of it and then mold off of that. And you're always going to get a little... Like, because these panels weren't designed to be made in carbon fiber. And if they mm -hmm. were, you would have made the, the angles different. Like, you would have made the curves different. So, yeah, that's... I don't know. I, I That car... Seemed like kind of a bummer to me. <laughs> kind of a... 18.5 and still didn't sell. Ugh. Ugh. Market. Ugh. Black. Make us feel better, Kurt. Oh, God. <laughs> I have a Bill Elliott NASCAR collector ornament. Oh, God, $17 down of... from 19 <laughs> Oh, God. What is best of going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Hallmark <laughs> keepsake Billy ornaments. Himself. <laughs> look at him. You can look at Bill Elliott's grotesquely Play-Doh looking face on your Christmas tree for 17 awful. bucks. It's been a long time, but I don't remember Bill Elliott ever looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> they just used the same mold and just painted it differently. <laughs> uh, but what I really have for you is an interesting bring a trailer. A, a, a 1981 Datsun 720 King Cab 4x4 5 speed that didn't sell that didn't not meet reserve but was withdrawn. Oh, um, so um so purchased outside of maybe or no. Oh. I've only seen another case of this cuz in in like the Corollas, one of the early old 70s Corollas that were on the site was withdrawn. Um but this one I actually was following cuz I was looking at old pickup trucks. It was also in Washington State. Um, I don't know why this one wasn't no reserve to begin with, because, I mean, it's neat, and it looks in good condition, but not great condition mm -hmm. on the closer picks. But apparently, in some of the videos that they uploaded, people in the comments noticed a whine while it was driving. Um, oh. And... And then people were going back and forth, and the seller was like, I don't know what it is. It drives fine. Um, saying it's like a water pump or this, that, or the other. Um, until eventually here, the listing has been withdrawn because something during this auction was not fair for the buyer or seller. It huh. might be relisted. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, we were hmm. through this auction so the seller can diagnose and address the issue in the videos that were provided. Weird. It is weird. And then there were there were some comments after the fact like uh -huh. why why was it delisted? Like right. we didn't see that. I mean I suppose because bids were already placed on it. Mm hmm Bring a trailer's view, like, well, like the people who have bid didn't have that information before they bid, even though there were low bids at that point. Hmm. Um, and yeah, here's just a bunch of comments about right. the crying that people heard. Um, I also and... noticed that it's missing a lug stud in this picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's it's certainly not another one too. It's certainly not a pristine example by any means. It's a very well used truck that's you know 
in pretty good shape. These things mm -hmm. are very rusty and or just very used, like they got used up. Oof. Uh, I know what that looks yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, my dad has. This is bizarre to me. I guess people change, you know. Like you know, some people get words. Um, apparently, he likes these all of a sudden after. We looked at some of these, and he was like, I just don't like those. <laughs> now, now all of a sudden, he's like, I kind of like the 720s. <laughs> Who are you? Where was that mint one I had the other week? Yeah, maybe you spurred something. This engine is, I think, a big reason he didn't like these, because they had the, the twin plugs. And maybe it's mm -hmm. just that, you know, 30 years later, having eight spark plugs is nothing compared to having, you know, 16 computers and <laughs> a collection of <laughs> wiring harnesses and something like that but i never heard great things about these engines that look rem it looks so much like a single cam yeah, single cam yeah so they've, they've it's obviously it's this Nissan was like z what yeah because it's a z24 engine um yeah yeah. Wasn't there something you do, like use one of those as like a stroker kit or something? Yeah, the bottom end, the very bottom end, like the crank is yeah. the same. Or something. It's a balanced crank, so you can get a balanced, mm -hmm. half brown balanced crank or something like that. Some weird folktale. We'll get to it someday, right? <laughs> sure. Where's the Nissan Mythbusters? <laughs> uh, yeah. I personally, I don't see it coming back. <laughs> Well, actually, and I'm, I, I, I did have a follow-up, but I didn't grab any screenshots, Bill Elliott. Um, I did notice it since it was in Washington. They did list it on Craigslist uh, asking 10000 and that, then, mm. but it disappeared before I got a chance to, uh, to uh, make a screenshot of it. Hmm. Did it give you, like, a weird anxiety attack when you remembered about the starter and the Corolla? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was kind of a thing <laughs> because uh, yeah, the starter stopped working uh, halfway into the week. It was on sale um, on Bring a Trailer, and yeah, I I had seen that happen. I don't remember what it was before with the earlier Corolla that it was withdrawn, um, but uh, yeah, that's apparently something that happens. Like I don't I don't know what happens. I'm assuming this person loses their ninety nine dollar listing fee. Right. Um, that's probably all it is and this is probably like i i would imagine bring a trailer has like a different scale of like how much you're banned or whatever mm -hmm. and this would be like you just lose your fee but you're fine versus like if you don't sell the car or what or like if you don't pay for it after you bid then you're right. banned forever mm -hmm. so hmm. 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 curious I don't know if this is is 10k worth it? Yeah, I don't so. think so, personally. But some people really love the 4x4s of the 80s. Some people, ZK. So, this is something we sort of touched on earlier. Um, generally, my Craigslist and Marketplace have been pretty dry recently, I would say. And one thing i saw recently was that used car prices in the month of may have gone up like 7.5 percent yeah it's a good and, thing nobody here bought a used car in the uh -huh. month of may <laughs> i was looking through my local craigslist and i was like well okay so imagine if i'm in high school or whatever and i want a car that is not necessarily a death trap but you know generally works high mileage whatever a car a car um, I think when we were in high school, that was probably around a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred bucks, right? Yeah. At least post um, uh, car cash for clunkers. For for reference, we're talking like two thousand three to two thousand seven. Yeah, around there. Um, so I was looking through, and these are a select cars that I found that were the cheapest I could find that didn't have like, oh, and the transmission's out, or mm -hmm. the motor's blown up, or it's rusty, or it's from the 70s and, you know, has no airbags or anything. And there's a suspicious price line along these, and it's $3,000. Hmm. $3,000 so for a Camry SE. Uh-huh. Or oh. a 2007 Focus with Bluetooth. 
Oh, okay. My AC works. That's good. Or three thousand dollars for two thousand seven Civic. Very clean inside and out. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that there's stuff that's this new and decent for in the three thousand dollar range. These are all over one hundred fifty thousand dollar or one hundred fifty thousand miles. Yeah, I mean, one hundred ninety, one hundred forty, somewhere around there. But like, these are cars we would have bought at the time. Well, we would but, have. We would have bought something far yeah, dumber. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> <These are> the, <laughs> fair. Kurt, I mean this in the nicest way possible. This is the kind of stuff Kurt would have bought at the time. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, like, I didn't do auction wash because whatever. But, like, I just wanted to rant that I feel like the new low-budget car is $3,000, and that's crazy. It is crazy, but you're going to get down a whole road of... Yeah, have you looked at the price of everything, ZK? <laughs> I 100% understand that. And even in counting to inflation, this is it's, yeah, crazy. It's, it's crazy. It, it's three, 300% like 10, 15 years ago. Not the I don't really maybe understand 200%. how it's happening, too. Like, cars should be, you would think, should be getting more reliable with time. Therefore... Mm -hmm. As we perfect the combustion engine, and as we perfect making cars, there should be more cars available, because people are still buying new cars, and the old cars aren't, you know, turning into unusable things as fast, but that doesn't appear to be happening. No, and like I said, like, I barely could find interesting cars this past week, like, it was all... This was like the lowest of, hey, I could buy this and drive it home. Mm -hmm. I do have a theory. And that is maybe they total cars so much more frequently now. Like maybe cars that are in accidents are so much more frequently just like demolished or crushed that that kind of influences the cheap car market. Maybe because I did exclude anything that said like, salvage title and there was a decent number of those mm -hmm. under this price yeah or maybe it's just because there's not cavaliers anymore <laughs> that's it that's it um well i mean there's the, just specifically like this time right now there's a lot of articles about how the fed looks at used cars as an indicator of inflation and consumer spending and has a lot to do with the pandemic and a lot of rental places ended up selling off a lot of their fleets because they obviously weren't getting any rentals because nobody was traveling. So, so now that it's picking back up, they're buying all the used cars for their fleets again. And uh, hmm. the production of new cars was slower because plants were shut down because of lockdown and things like that. Chip so shortage. it's all like, a yeah, the chip shortage yeah, is another part of yeah. it. Um, so you mentioned the, uh, selling off of rental cars and that's actually something, I think that's what led me down this road. Cause interestingly enough, my mom is going to Seattle soon on like a vacation thing. Um, and she was looking at rental cars that are basically impossible to get and offhand half kidding because she's related to me. She was like, Oh, I just buy a used car and drive it for the week and ditch it or whatever. <laughs> ditch it. <laughs> I know this just guy. In the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, okay, you know, you know, buy a Crown Vic for less than a thousand dollars or whatever. I was, and so I started looking. I'm like, there is literally nothing you could drive for a week and not immediately die in or it die on you. Yeah, but could we find $1, something $1, and give it to Cubes though? <laughs> no, that, that, uh, there, there was some side um, motivation there. I'm like, okay, so if she buys a car, what is she going to do with it? Um, <laughs> but like, there's literally nothing. It's three thousand is the new floor for a drivable car. There you go. New episode title. Three thousand is the new floor. Doesn't make <laughs> a lick of sense, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm. I'm glad. I'm. I'm glad in many ways that I am not eighteen right now because. Yeah. None of the nope. cars I would have been dreaming of getting would be anywhere near obtainable. Like, you, yeah. what's the lowest price of a BRZ now? Because that's the closest thing to a 240. Yeah, I... 
I have no idea. I'd have to look in that. I would say probably time. like eight, seven. <sighs> Maybe for a really rough one. Oh yeah, for one yeah, that's like really crappy one, like, <laughs> like the one that's been beat up and used up. So yeah, hard <sighs> hard times to be a youth. Sorry, youths. <laughs> Yeah, like, especially if you're trying to be a young car person. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, it just sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> sucks. Speaking of things that suck, usually the things we find for the best ads of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do tend to see a lot more bad than good. And on the last episode for the best finds of the week, we had Kurt Stubby again. Mm hmm. We had ZK's Dale Jerry infused, by the way, has a sticker on the back that we didn't notice that says, I'm only driving this to annoy you on the back of it, Ford Focus, <laughs> and my Ford Ranger Cobra edition overpriced sport pickup. The winner is, believe it or not, Kurt Stubby, it is ZK taking 53% wow. of the vote with your Dale Jarrett special. I am legitimately surprised, and y'all also tied. We did tie, yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, a tie between... Someone's, the someone in the comments is going to explain this to me, because I don't understand it. I, what, I thought it was pretty cool. I, I think it was also the, uh, the the spray paint grenade joke. Well, the spray paint joke. grenade I... probably helped, yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> I guess. So, good job. Do we have, does anybody ever tallied these? Has anybody ever tallied, you know, who's... We just know that Kurt's winning. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how Kurt's winning uh, this week. I will begin with what I think could be one of the worst ads I've ever seen. 1978 Chevrolet Monza Green. Trade for... Or, sorry, trade. 1978 Monza SW Rat Rod. Chop the top 7 inches custom-built 305 motor. Auto trans, new tires, new shocks on the back on a different drive shaft. And... A different needs drive... new shocks. Oh, needs. Sorry, and a different drive shaft to be road ready. This is one of the pictures. This is the next one. That's astroturf or like green outdoor carpeting. Those are valve covers screwed Ooh, down into holders. the floor as cup holders and a shifter console. Of course, the axe as the automatic transmission shifter. Some barrels for the seats. More turf as the rear interior, uh, a random barrel, and a couple fold-up chairs. Please note that the panels on the back are also wrapped in green outdoor carpeting. Taking that all in? Oh, on the outside of the car, yes. On the outside, yes. Uh, the barrels for the seats are marked reserved for the dead. Great. Uh, here is another picture of the front where we now see a hand, a skull, and a one-way sign that has been vandalized and turned into a door panel. Uh, and then we have a picture from this person's phone. And all uh, I know <laughs> about the lighting. <laughs> it is a picture of the picture after the picture was taken in which the phone is telling them to fix the lighting and also they have a plethora of notifications on the top that gives me anxiety <laughs> <laughs> they missed a call oh. it was probably their mom why didn't you answer the phone i'm um, just trying to contact them on facebook we have the 305 with a tunnel ram ish on it then a carb spacer so a tunnel ram to one carb <laughs> I didn't even see this when I first noticed. Oh my god, it's bad. So we have one four-barrel carb feeding into a carb spacer, feeding into a a dual carb to single carb adapter on a tunnel ram thing into a 305 with flipped exhaust manifolds going upwards and then generic, you know, flappers on top. Great. Fantastic. And uh, the rest of the pictures? Yep, of course. After they deleted one picture, they took a screenshot of, of this <laughs> angle <laughs> of Smith's funeral home. Oh, man. Disney's trying to contact him now, too. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> and uh, it's got a trophy. Mm, they won. How is it both 86 degrees and 82 degrees? <laughs> 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 He's got multiple apps. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. this is how people use phones. <laughs> <laughs> You really, and it's about to die. you really yeah you really get an appreciation of the the uh the exterior carpet here for the roof and the like who knows what's under that uh that's the end it's literally everything you ready to buy yeah third three thousand bucks i'll do it gosh just that's a cool idea but they really like put all their chips into one horse i don't know uh and then like it's a rat rod right you there's no seat belts <laughs> that was a good regular impression you just did <laughs> uh, this i think for some reason the valve cover is just as the center console is the tankiest best part of it mm, they that, don't even line up no like not even <sighs> there was no care taken in any of this and not the good kind think, of no care i think the axe is the worst part the axe is pretty bad. The the dash being the like they have like forty dollars of exterior carpet in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, gross, disgusting. Best find of the week, maybe. But Kurt, about mm -hmm. a Bill Elliott <laughs> go kart for seven hundred dollars. Go kart for sale or trade. Go dirt bike. 125 to 250. His I don't know what any of those words mean. Is Steve Mignante card? <laughs> mm. It's not Bobby Labonte. It's not Bill Eliotte. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's a 1976. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Got 5,655 miles on it. That's a. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Taken. At night, these pictures, of course. Yeah, I take it at night, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Ken was really There's... acting up that day. <laughs> <laughs> Did him selling the go-kart. Selling the Bill Elliott go-kart. Hmm. This is how big NASCAR was. <laughs> mm hmm oh, Why that's... does it have different wheels? The front looked like more modern uh, go-kart or golf cart uh, wheels, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah probably just cool. some replacements wore them out i'll take it seven hundred dollars they'll take it too that's the engine it needs whatever that motorcycle just went by and just uh doesn't actually say that it has an engine does it yeah it 125 doesn't. to two no no, no trade what it could take yeah that's what they want to trade for yeah so i don't okay. see an engine in it <laughs> no i there's the slot or the the, the cutout for the engine but i don't in, in on account it was taken at midnight this All right. picture i need to know what came first like what started the bill elliott train this came first i found oh, this first i thought and it was I'm gonna like, be okay, the that's van. neat no and then i found the van hmm. and then i was desperately searching for any other sort of Elliot. i feel like people are going to be pining for the van to have been in this but the the order was right like that was the ran when parked right exactly so I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is if people wanted to vote upon the notion of Bill Elliott. Of the, of the theme, theme episode right. that I've chosen to go with. Then, then I, would, I would accept those votes for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> on me. I mean, you don't even <laughs> got to worry about ZK. Nope. <laughs> I would buy this. It, I, so Roy has it, right? Yeah. Roy's got it. Get, Roy, get Roy's number, would you? Get Roy on the phone. ZK. So, you know my want to do a... What? Your things are in the wrong order. There, you put reason. them in this order. Like Look, two is after... Yeah. Sort by... You gotta do one, then. Yeah, you... Just, that's why you gotta do zero, one, uh, zero, two. Whatever. Computer It doesn't matter. It, it, ah. Remember how I wanted Nash Metropolitan to do a gasser lookalike? Yeah. Um, not this. I want this as is. <laughs> um, this is a 59 Hudson by American Motors Metropolitan. Apparently, or maybe they were not Nash at this time. Hmm. The whole Nash Hudson AMC 
timeline. They're very strange, but it's a 59 Nash convertible with its own Nash trailer. Never seen a trailer car that's like, it's, it's, the, it's the front end of the car. They put the <laughs> windshield in the middle of the hood and they've included hood, like they've included the front end back. I've never seen this style of car trailer. Well, the you know, haven't you? Haven't I? Yes, the Roadmaster. But that was this is different. This is like all contained in the hood. Like this is the hood of the vehicle. The other one had a hood. It even had seats. All right, I'm not. I'm not being clear here. <laughs> and a door. Not being clear. This is. I mean, it's it's very nice. It is nice. It's an incredible amount of money. Gosh. <laughs> It was a little 1.5 liter. Uh, that was the big it, engine. How could an engine look small in this thing? How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know, but I love it so much. Uh, it's, it's like restored. Um, yeah. It's got a nice soft top. It's nice. That probably leaks, but we won't talk about it. Nah. Uh, I don't like the blackout taillights, but whatever. Um, it looks in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've always assumed that this is like a timing advance thing. Is that what it is? I literally planning. have never seen that or like noticed oh, that before. So I see I'm it on a lot of old cars and, and I, I assume that it's like a timing advance or like when you start it, you can, you can pull the timing or something like that. Mm, or maybe, maybe that's a joke. Uh -huh. I don't know. Somebody that has knowledge on the subject will let me know. I need Steve Bobby Labonte Eliotte to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I enjoy that the like Vin tag is just kind of there. Plop. <laughs> like, the firewall is so like angled. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they have. I, I miss cool badges on cars. Yeah. So this is the trailer. The front oh. is a cooler. Oh, nice. Wait, the back is a grill. <laughs> and the back is a grill. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's a it's good like a grill that like com like pops out. <laughs> yeah, it like pops out and you can use it. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's great. Speaking of things that are great, did you um have you been on Instagram today? No. See what Roadkill's driving today? No. Oh, you need to, you you need to go right now. <laughs> you need to you need to hop your little butt over to the Instagrams at this very moment because they're doing they're doing things that's going to make you drool at the mouth and knowing what they're doing this thing will probably be for sale soon and uh it's 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 pretty it's pretty great just like this episode was right are, are we talking about the four or the what are we talking about uh am i gonna have to send this to you is it's i mean i what, what instagram are you talking about it's probably it's either Freiburgers or finnegan's oh. uh it looks like it's Freiburger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll read the caption for you. Here's our roadkill ride for the week. 56 Nash Metropolitan on a 78 Toyota truck frame with an 88 Turbo Coupe 2.3 Turbo and a T5 in it. Yep. I see the picture. Yeah. I don't know if you hate it or you love it. I don't like that they stretched it. Did they stretch it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The it's got fender, a, yeah. It's got an extra bit of hood. I don't know. It's it's crazy enough that I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it, but like, it doesn't like doesn't fit your the Nash vibes. It doesn't need, it, it, it doesn't does, fit your Nash. Uh, what was it? Nash gasser vibe. Yeah. No. It, it needs to be like stock bodied. Catch. Basically. Good luck. <laughs> I, I appreciate this thing for what it is, but it's not a Nash to me anymore, if like, that makes any sense. Like, if I had found this thing for sale, that's just a win. Like, that would have been a best, <laughs> best ad of the year. <laughs> 88 curb, teeth. Wait, so that's just a normal inline... Yeah, I, they didn't need to stretch it to fit this engine. No. Yeah, I, I, I think they stretched it to fit the frame, the truck frame. Who knows? Anyway, Amateurs. before we start stretching this episode out any longer, eh? Eh? Huh? Eh? 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 Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you vote 
on the straw poll on who you think had the best find of the week below the video. Okay, bye. Bye. This episode brought to you by Bill Elliott. <laughs> I don't think it was. Bill Elliott Day. <laughs> oh, I have Bill Elliott's stickers in the garage. I have uh, a collection of fastest, <laughs> the fastest NASCAR lap ever stickers that were in the garage. There oh, I have Bill Elliott chained up in the garage. <laughs> <laughs>